Rise and grind. All right, so today I plan on shooting a dope fade tutorial with a dope design for a dope audience like you guys. So stay tuned. Get a little camera shot. It's all right. What do you guys think we should do to him? You guys think we should give him a mohawk? Give him a bald head? Probably do a mid fade and a dope Polynesian design on the side. Stay tuned. So while I was cutting my brother's hair, I dropped my clipper. As you can see, it's a little bit bent from the top blade and the cutting blade. Shit like that will piss you off, but when you come across something that irritates you like that, you gotta train your mind to think positive. Keep thinking about negative shit. It's gonna keep attracting negative shit, so think positive. Say what up, Nate. <laughs> All right, I got my legends ready. Ready to step up in the game, baby. This is where we at so far. Got a little bit more blending to do, but we getting there. It's out of here, all these lights. Steaming up in this room. Just give you guys a little update. Got the clean fade in there. Clean, clean. Get the length on top. Skin fade on the side. Looking sharp, boy. Brother looking clean. Just one thing about having a brother as a barber. Ain't gotta pay for no haircuts for the rest of your life. All right, what we're gonna do on this side is tribal design. Let Nathan go ahead and Google a picture real quick just to get a little idea. Yeah, go to images. Oh, Try to find like a dope one, like a dope design. Like that one, go up on the left, left. Oh, yeah, see, we're gonna do something like small? that with the arrows. All right, we're gonna do something close to the arrow. But we're gonna make a dope design out of this right here. As you guys can see from my tattoo, a lot of islanders get, you know, we have the Polynesian tribal. Mom's is from Guam. See the arrow? Right there, we're gonna do something like that on the side. So what you wanna do is you wanna go and clean up where you're gonna do the design at. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Before you start the design, you wanna go ahead and line it up on the edges. Yeah. Shutting the shop down. Finally finished with my brother's cut. It's about that time to roll out. What's going on everyone? About to do a quick cut. It's gonna be a quick skin fade on the sides and I'm gonna get that crispy lined up. Overnight, so you know it's gonna be extra season. Got the quinoa rice on deck, fit and active, baby. And over here, we got the greens on deck. You gotta stay hydrated, people. My lady done hooked it up. The food is looking on point. Want to get ready to hit this gym? All right, the pre-workout I'm using is Anol Explode. I've been taking it for about five or six years now. You could take about two scoops, but today I'm gonna do a light workout, so one would be fine. Got my daily vitamins, you know, we got the one a days, and we got the fish oil. Don't forget to stay hydrated, baby. You gotta have the aqua.
where I just finished my workout for the day. Today I hit some legs and I did like a, a lot of body workouts, pull-ups, dips, with some forearms and a little bit of arms today. Ain't no better feeling than putting in that good workout, you know what I mean? I feel 20 times better than before I showed up. All that stress throughout the week, all those headaches, you know what I mean? It's all in the gym now, you know? So when you're feeling like shit, like don't put in a bomb ass workout, you feel, you feel 20 times better, I promise you. But yeah, I'm gonna go stop by the family's place and go say what's up. On my way, I wanted to answer a few uh, questions too that I seen a lot in the comments, you know? A lot about uh, how long my hair is, how long I've been growing my hair for. Yeah, I've been growing my hair a little bit over a year now. And my hair length right now is about eight, a little over eight inches, eight and a half inches. And uh, don't shampoo your hair every day, you know? If you uh, shampoo and condition your hair, maybe you wanna do it two to three times a week. Cause you know, your hair produces natural oils, so you don't wanna rip those natural oils every day. You wanna, you wanna keep your hair clean, but you don't have to do it every single day. Like I said, two to three times a week is good, so do that. Hydrate your hair daily. CP Revolution Styling Cream. Question about the braids. So I, I wear my braids just for that day when I get them done. You know, if I get my hair braided that morning, that day, I take them out that night or the following morning. Because braids are really quick to put in. You know, I have somebody braid your hair really quick in three to five minutes. It's really quick. So if your sister, your, your mom, or your girlfriend knows how to braid, you know, it's, it's not that hard just to throw them in real quick before you go out and then the next day i'll just switch it up to the top knot that's what's cool about the top knot you can rock so many different styles you know you can rock the braids one day you can rock the, the top knot the next day i mean but yeah one or two days max and if you do want to preserve them longer if you want to wear them the next day you could wear like a like a wave cap or a do-rag when you go to sleep at night just make sure before you get your hair braided that you um you use a, a good product with a good hold so you know you can keep your hair maintained you don't have to worry about the little frizzies or the little little end sticking out you want to have a product that'll keep all your hair in place so before you get your hair braided make sure you watch my how to prep your hair before throwing it up in the top this is downtown Biltmore located in Asheville North Carolina Speaking of location, where are all my uh, subscribers from? Where you guys at? Drop it in the comments below. I want to see where everybody is from. I'm originally from uh, Las Vegas around 2006. My family and we all moved to uh, North Carolina 10 years ago. It's crazy. Time be flying. So salute to Las Vegas, Sin City, baby. <laughs> City boy at heart. Just getting to my family's place. Let's go say what up. My little sister Kaylana, say what's up, Kaylana. Shop Karma Domingo. Karma got the braids in there. Karma Domingo, say what's up, Karma Domingo. What's up, man? I'm trying to get her to make start her YouTube channel pretty soon. So drop it in the comments and say, gonna be popping. Say Karma, make a YouTube channel ASAP. Pops getting down in the kitchen. Got the chicken over here. The Hodge what's twins, up? brother. <laughs> drop it in the comments if he looks like the Hodge twins. The Hodge twins. Cheap day. Oh man, cheesecake looking on point. Got the whipped cream, cool whip. I know we gotta have the coffee on deck. Starting tomorrow, I'm going on a strict 30 day, no sweet challenge, except for my coffee. But no sugar. I'm going to close out this vlog with a quote from the legend himself. I hated every minute of training, but I said, don't quit. Suffer now and live the rest of your life as a champion. And that quote doesn't apply just to training, it applies to your everyday life. If you quit now, you'll live in regret. So when you feel like quitting, always remember why you started. I'm out.